Hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Solo challenge. It's where it's at. We really want an update, though. Let's get an update going. I haven't played... Mining Guild in forever. Mining area is really nice, especially if you can work it off of commercial district. But I don't think we had an energy, did we? Oh, we have geothermal, building industries, and mine. Lots, lots of metal-related things, to be honest. 15 things. That leaves us with 15 bucks. 25 bucks, basically. So this and this is already too expensive. I guess we give up on building industries. And that gives us enough for that and the commercial district. Oh yeah, that's perfect. So, bam, bam. The reason I'm doing this is because Mining Guild gets an extra steel production every time you pick up steel from the board. We have just enough money to play the commercial district, which if we play it here or here, I'll go here for now. We get two steel back and an extra steel production on top of the money production, which is the two steel we need to play the mining area, which again we put here, which gives us a steel production, but then a bonus one because mining guild. So we actually made the mining guild start quite powerful. We have four dollars and four steel and an extra energy. So the four steel is worth eight bucks. That's pretty good. Uh, events are cute and cool. We have five steel right now. I think we go for it. I like. I even like the fish, but you can only do so much. We'll use up our energy to get titanium started. A little bit of money coming in. We'll get more titanium started with this mine. And then we'll hold on to our stuff for now, because we don't need to do higher graders for anything. We could have done it for the steel to help pay for the, the card we just did, but it's only a net of $1. I'm kind of liking the idea that we uh, net a little bit more. Mmm, Regolith Eaters, I guess. We could spend money on getting our heat production up. Which I think I'll do. Yeah, I don't really like spending 10 bucks to get heat production up, but when you have so little else going for you. And because I bought Hired Raiders, I can't afford regular feeders this round, which is very unfortunate. I could do the Asteroid, but I'm going to hold off on it for one more round. This round we have four Titanium, so we can pay for it outright with Titanium. I don't want to waste the value of our metals. Right? Mohol area is great for us. Lagrange is good. And then we can start just all of this, basically. Uh, and we also need to spend 10 bucks here, though. Well, start there. Okay. Oh, I can't buy you because oxygen. Hmm. Do I feel like a dumb dumb? I do. If I steal two steel. I'll have six bucks and seven steel, and that's enough for the mohole area. So we're gonna do that. And that event has gone net neutral for us, but there's a couple of cards that could make it less crappy that we spent our time doing that. Oh, we wanna grab metals. Of course we do, we don't wanna grab cards, we wanna grab metals. Uh, I don't think I need steel or titanium right now, really. But we'll grab the titanium. So we get a metal production for getting a placement from the board. Uh, we will do this bad boy. Get that bump. And then we have three titanium back. So we'll go ahead and grab that card from the Lagrange. Or processor. Now that's not bad. We just need a bunch of energy to make it happen, which we don't have, but we can work on it. <laughs> Come on, maybe. Uh, strip mine, awesome. Again, we need energy. Extreme cold fungus, really good. Acquired company, really good. Yikes, just so many great things to do. We don't need more heat production. 
because I'm going to buy this one more time, I think. Well, that or Acquired Company. I think the money is a bigger deal for us, because with the money, I can get Rigolith Eaters and Extreme Cold Fungus, and that will start ripping through the oxygen. We've done it before, and we'll do it again. Um, we just need something. We need another energy card. Here we go. Anti-Grav. It's so hard for me not to at least give myself the opportunity to get Anti-Grav. And these cards. We're going to grab anything that has metal on it, basically. Um, Yo, energy. What up? And then heat bump. What up? We don't need more heat just yet. We could buy both these cards, and it would only require that I sell a card, right? No. I'm a dum dum. Other way around. And I should have done the other card, because one plant is better than one microbe that's going to put me at an odd number in the future. But. What can I say except you're welcome? Adaptation technology. It's a science, and this is some energy. So we could. We could buy the energy. And now. Because I have a bunch of steel, we can get the oxygen up. Hell yeah. And then I can get a microbe here. So next turn, I can play decomposers, archaea bacteria, extreme cold fungus, and all that jazz. And we'll save this nine bucks to go with the other bucks to make it all smooth as can be. Ooh, food upstairs. Mm-hmm. Okay. Earth Catapult. Fantastic card. Let's talk about that. Tardigrades? It's not even awful in our particular stance. Don't mind the corporate stronghold, but we're not going to go down that path. So, Oxygen, R us. Heat bump, R us. Earth catapult. Decomposers. And as much as I want extreme cold fungus, we can play it at minus 10. We can play it next round. So it'll be just as good next round as it is now, basically. We can play this bad boy for free, because we have so much titanium not going to use. There comes some plant production. Here comes some plant production and some extra micro. And tardigrades is also going to be an extra microbe on decomposers. And it'll be like a point or two by the end of the game, which is fine. And that's it. So now we have 23 TR on top of our 8 money production and all of those metals. So we basically just need a metal outlet. Big asteroid's good. Energy is good, and so is livestock. Sure. We don't have a draw a card function. But we do need extreme cold fungus. How many spacey or sciencey tags do we have? Just the two. Okay. We would like to add two microbes, two regolith eaters, because oxygen is clearly more important to focus on at the moment. Tartar rage, you might as well get your one. Couple of heat bumps. Not bad. Um, I can't help but feel like, well, I don't know. We have 12 heat production, so that's one and a half uh, heat bumps 
per round, and we have one production, four more, pro five productions, so about six, seven heat bumps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus the freebie, plus two from the asteroid, so we definitely don't need more heat. I just don't think it's right to do this space. I'm going to take this 11 bucks to the next round. Simple as that. There's, there's things I could have done, but I think it's better to save up our cash and do a good... We're going to get research here and some other things. It's going to be great. Uh, space elevator is good. It's now lit. Pets isn't even bad. Lunar beam. We get some energy. Sure, sure, sure. So we like two on regolith eaters, please. We will do some oxygening. We would like to get some microbe. Very, ooh, uh, I think we want the big asteroid first. So that can be six titanium plugged into that that we then get four back out of. Now, I was going to say space elevator we can use titanium for, but why would we? When we can overspend 13 steel and still have the steel left over to frickin' uh, sell for money. So that's awesome. Nice heat bump here. Lunar beam, giant space mirror. Gets us enough that we can start doing ore processor. Yeah. That's okay. I mean, we have four titanium production per round, so I'm not worried about the fact that we've spent some there. And then losing a little bit of income to get our other incomes up is fine. The ore processor we may as well wait, and I don't need to buy any more heat production. Five energy is nice. Yeah, the oxygen's where I'm worried about the most, but Media Group, this, and Vesta is all powerful. We have so many energy tags at this point, but I don't think I have another reason to go down that path. Sell a steel right away. Um, let's get that media group going and a business contacts. Standard tech is really good. So is solar power, even more so than a beam from a thorium asteroid likely. Yeah, because we just have so much steel. The standard tech is fantastic, by the way. Let's not undersell how powerful that card is. I mean, the fact that I'm putting two microbes down for one action with Extreme Cold Fungus is also quite fantastic. Uh, but in particular, there, there's just, you know, there's a lot, of, a lot of good things happening here. Something's happening here. What it is ain't exactly clear. Uh, we would like our ore processor. In fact, I could have used that. Well, actually, I haven't spent my titanium yet. But there's another titanium for you, boy. And then when I buy this greenery, which I'm just going to do for a card, that gets us the heat bump as well. So now we're so close. We got protected halves, which sucks. But that's fine. Get some more titanium production because metal's good. We'll overspend for some energy because it's points and we got so much metal to begin with anyway. Um, we do have standard tech, so I'm going to buy an ocean because clearly we've needed oceans for a long time. Gets us some cards. Invention contest. Lake Marineris, that's fan-freaking-tastic. I like buying a really cheap city, but... Wasn't in the cards, didn't need that. Spent 10 bucks here, which allows us to reach up to Lake Marineris and livestock. Don't have enough for livestock though. And I also don't need the steel production for going here. I think I'd rather just get the card, take a quick peek at what the card is. It's grass. That's actually kind of nice. Breakdown, infrastructure. 
I mean, I could sell protected Habs and power infrastructure to get grass right now. And I can't see that not being the correct choice because these are functionally useless. And grass is, is just nice to get that production. And then when we get livestock next round, uh, we'll lose that production, but we still got the plants out of it. And look at all that heat production. Oh, we're going to get oceans down. We're going to do this a little trench. Uh, points per Jovian, cheap city, steel product. Yeah, all of these cards are good. Cards are good for us. How much? We have four science. Hmm. How do we feel about four science? Not exactly sure. We want a city here and a city here, maybe even a city there. I can tell you that. I can tell you that. Algae, livestock. It's all freaking fantastic. Hmm. I think doing one click on Rigolith Eaters, or sorry, Tartar Grades, is going to be the difference between some points. If we're going to do pets, let's do pets. Then, we can get the underground city using steel to do it. Oh, I could go somewhere as far away. Like just do this pocket. You know what? Let's invest in this for now. Because this is, it's just nice. It's just a nice neighborhood. Get some pets. We put down some some greenery here, get some titanium and steel production just for funsies. Um, algae is, is fantastic as well. Remember, this is all going into decomposers. Uh, we'll lose some of that to get livestock moving because it's, it's also very nice. We have 15 points on cards. That goes to 16 now. We're just not going to have many uh, by this early. We're just not going to have many greenery city combos as is. But that's fine. I'm not going to buy the Great Dam this turn because we'll have steel next turn. So there's no real rush. Some more city cards would be nice. Oh, look, at how, look at how well ahead we are. We just need oceans. Oceans like crazy. Um, why do I want you? I don't want you. I want these guys, though. Oxygen bump, because don't want the heat. Get some heat bumps here, which is fine. Um. It's almost about time to just draw plants for that card, isn't it? Space Station, yo. I don't, I can't figure out where it would be nice to have this, this greenery in a, an ocean tile. I like to put it here. And maybe I will. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. So that goes here, that gets us two plants. And some money production. And some decomposers, man. We're on a roll. So, I clearly don't need to do Rigolith Eaters for anything but just getting a microbe for fun. Great Dam, Tectonic Stress. Let's buy some aquifers. Because, like, we need them. Quite, like, we just, we just need them. Get you... And then we will get a card, a comet. It's quite nice. We don't really need the heat bump, but we'll take it. But the ability to use titanium to get oceans is not something we're going to make fun of. Um, I'll even buy another ocean here. 
Things are looking pretty good. Uh, gonna buy a city. I like this spot because I want to put greeneries into here, but I could have just as easily done it there and put greeneries into here, and that probably would have actually been better. Oopsies. And we'll get a plant. Or I'll get those tartar grades now. So that's that's now complete. So we just need two oceans to win. I think we can manage that. And Noctis City is nice. This, if we don't have anything else to use our titanium on. Because we're going to have six of it. We'll do the business contacts just for the card draw. We just need to know... Can we get something nice? Trans Neptune Probe for a point, I'll take it. It doesn't get us anywhere near the seventh science tag, right? No, it gets us to the fifth. Plead the fifth. I actually could have used more steel at the end after all. I did get uh, some decent cards. What it is ain't exactly clear. Um, I like this this nook. We need those oceans though. Alright, let's buy them before I screw something up. Here. And Here. How many cities in play? One, two, three, four, five. So this is only worth one point as is. But with one more city, it's worth two, which still doesn't make it very useful, does it? Uh, especially when you can get so much money just by buying greeneries. So many points, rather. That's nice. And then when? And then where? Like, even buying a city here. Like, yo. We've already won, so we're just maximizing points now. But that placement gets us a couple of points. Gets us the pet break point. Then we can place here for a bunch of money back. Now we get the bonus greenery. How much is six titanium gonna get? Then down to nine bucks. So these together, we can use our titanium and spend 11 bucks for three points. Or we can spend two bucks for a point or no bucks for a point. I think I'd, I think this is worth it. couple points this is a point and then we just great damn for another point damn and then we have the extra greenery on the way and we can't put up the oxygen but we can get another microbe there for fun damn son rock out with your socks out um, let's maximize our money back by going here. Not that it matters. There's no tiebreaker, but it feels all right. 29 VP, a decent number of cities at the end and greeneries. We actually kind of, kind of made it work. We didn't have anything too explosive, but hey, 107, almost, like passing the 100s is good. We like passing 100. We would have liked to be in the 110s, but... Our runs lately have been less than uh, phenomenal, so let's take the over 100 and uh, party it up. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Ciao.